Today I want to talk about something that's near and dear to my heart and it's something I didn't really realize fully how bad it was. Uh, I probably should have at this point. But the reputation of what is an adult game versus what is a game made for kids. And this realization hit me, uh, maybe not so surprisingly, because after I got my haircut yesterday, I went into the GameStop, which was right next door. And this is the GameStop that I frequently do business with. I know most of the employees. Uh, this time they did have one of their newer, newer employees in who have only been working there for about six months so i've only seen them a few times because it's not like i'm going to gamestop all the time and i was just browsing i really wasn't planning to buy anything i was just looking at their switch accessories and i noticed like this cool splatoon 2 hardcover case that i, I considered getting for my switch for when i'm going portable because that's how much i like splatoon 2 but whatever i'm just browsing along and i'm hearing him talk to this customer who was buying his son uh, his little kid son, like, I think his, the kid was like five or six, uh, Mario Kart, or not Mario Kart, I'm sorry, Super Mario uh, for DS. So they were getting the, the, a, a DS game. That's all fine and dandy. But the customer asks about the Nintendo Switch because they, he said that he saw a commercial for it and he's seen signs and he's just kind of wondering, you know, do they have it in stock or, or you know, is it worth getting? And the customer's like, yeah, we, we only we only get uh, like four units per month, which is... I already know is a lie, but again, a newer employee, he's not the manager. He doesn't actually know uh, when all the shipments are there. He doesn't work every single day. <laughs> um, so I, I can forgive him for, for not being super knowledgeable about that aspect and making it sound like the unit's more scarce at the store than it really is. That's not what I take issue with, though. So he said... He, he was giving his opinions on the Switch. And I, I'm, this is not like a story that makes GameStop look all crappy. Um, this employee, I, I don't view him any worse for wear. Uh, but he was saying that, yeah, I really loved my Switch for about a month and a half. Uh, and then he sold it. And he said the reason that he sold it, is, you know, he said Breath of the Wild is, is amazing, but it's a console for kids. Uh, and he repeated that over and over again that this 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 Nintendo Switch is a console that appears that appeals to kids and obviously Nintendo's hardcore faithful. And he said, you know, you basically need to be a hardcore Nintendo fan to own one. Uh, and that's fine. Like like that just just that on its surface saying you need to be a hardcore Nintendo fan to own a Switch is fine because obviously the biggest games on the system are Nintendo games. And if you're not into Nintendo games, then yeah, you probably shouldn't own a Nintendo Switch. So so he's I'm okay with these comments. But then he goes on to say that I actually he said I actually uh, prefer to play the more adult games that are on the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One because all of those Switch games but Breath of the Wild are for kids. And it made me realize something, and I didn't say anything because, again, this is just his general opinion, but it's an opinion that actually exists uh, pretty regularly. I actually don't see it online as much. Uh, you know, I'm on NeoGAF, I'm, I'm on a whole bunch of different gaming forums and, and involved in a lot of gaming conversations, and I don't specifically notice a lot of people viewing Nintendo games as for kids, as maybe the reputation might be, but I have noticed out in the real world like this is like the third or fourth time just in the past month that i've heard somebody in public say that you shouldn't get a nintendo switch because it's for kids and if you guys remember i made a video about how nintendo switch's audience is more hardcore uh it is more adult like than sony and other people think and, and if you go and look at the the card above you can go check that out and the reason i said that isn't just because of breath of the wild isn't just because the Switch has this huge appeal to adults. It's because my opinion on what games are for kids and what games for adults seems to be vastly different than a majority of general consumers out there, even general gaming consumers out there. Because when he was talking about this, he mentioned games like Call. He plays like games like Call of Duty and Battlefield and Destiny and all this stuff, and and that's fine. A lot of adults play those games. There's nothing wrong with it. I've played those games, but. What I notice, when I see people playing Mario Kart, it's a lot of adults. Yes, kids play too, but it's usually they're playing Daddy and Mommy's copy of Mario Kart. They're not playing their own copy of Mario Kart. They're not even playing on their own Switch. They're playing on Daddy and Mommy's Nintendo Switch. Um, it's Daddy and Mommy playing, you know, uh, Breath of the Wild. It's <laughs> Daddy and Mommy playing Splatoon 2. And when I play in Splatoon 2... The, uh, 
Every interaction I have had so far has been with adults. I haven't even ran into a child yet playing online. Uh, it, it, there's this general reputation that because Nintendo's games are uh, not like going for that ultra-realistic look, uh, that they don't feature a bunch of blood and guts everywhere, uh, that you know they don't have the M rating or whatever the case may be, that Nintendo's games are kitty. And it's a reputation, I feel, as gamers, as, you know, just, I know as Nintendo fans, obviously we have a bias because we're Nintendo fans, but just as a gaming community as a whole, we need to start spreading out awareness that these games appeal to us as adults. Uh, and, and I think it, it's something that only as a community can we collectively do something about. I wasn't going to get into a heated argument or debate with a guy, but, you know, if he had been talking about how it's for kids and I had been sitting in the store playing on my Nintendo Switch, playing some Splatoon 2 right in front of him as a 31-year-old adult, as he's telling me that I'm a kid for playing this, uh, it, it would have really uh, maybe made him feel a little dumb because my general opinion is, is that... <clears throat> Kids like playing whatever is hip and cool. When I was a kid, you think Punch-Out was made for me as a five-year-old? No, it was not made for me. But my dad played it. And because my dad played it, I thought it was cool. So I wanted to play what my dad could play. And that's the way kids are. They want to play what the adults are playing. Yes, there's games made specifically for kids. And my kids enjoy some of those games, especially on their tablets. But... When they see me play Splatoon 2, when they see me play Zelda, when they see me play all these games, they want to play it. They, they want to play what I play because they think what I am playing is cool. They think I'm cool. I'm the cool dad. Um, so that's the reputation that, that happens. So when he talks about <clears throat> you know more adult games like Call of Duty and Battlefield, we all know that kids play that like crazy. Uh, the other day when I was at GameStop, I think this was like a week or two ago, there was a kid that picked up uh, the latest Call of Duty, the latest Battlefield, uh, Star Wars Battlefront, and a couple other games. And these are all games that are obviously targeted at adults. But the kids wanted it because he other friends were playing it. He saw other adults playing it. And kids want to be hip and cool. They want to do what the adults do. Why do you think smoking and drinking is so prevalent during the high school years? Because they see adults do it. They see their parents do it. And so they think it's hip and cool. And they want to be part of the hip and cool club. They want to grow up. Um, obviously, as a 31-year-old adult, um, I can tell you that once once you become an adult, uh, like a full-on adult, not early adulthood, but like this, this mid to late adulthood, you... Uh, <laughs> start to wish you were a kid again uh, with the knowledge you have now because you would probably enjoy your childhood much more um, and not worry so much about you know trying to be hip and cool like an adult but it's it's one of those things that as a gaming community I don't view Nintendo games as for kids and I know again I have my bias because I'm a Nintendo fan but like Splatoon 2 is really hard right like it's really, really hard. I had my daughter try playing it. She got confused by the motion controls. So I turned the motion controls off. She got confused trying to use that right stick. Twin stick gaming is still not something that's super convenient for little kids. And that's fine. That, that's okay. So Tune 2 is a fun game that's easy to get into and easy to enjoy. But as soon as you play online, the moment you go online... There is a skill level difference that a lot of kids, especially un, you know under 10, I would say, are not going to achieve. Teenagers, they can get up there, but um, the kids under 10 are probably not going to achieve the, the same skill level as Splatoon 2 as someone who's older, a, a teenager to an adult. And uh, Splatoon 2's appeal is mostly in that teenager to adult thing. I mean, look at that line that had 10,000 people in Japan waiting for a Nintendo Switch last week, specifically because Splatoon 2 was coming out. That line contained, it was something crazy. It was something like 88% were adults. I mean, adults are what are buying the Nintendo Switch. They are the ones that want the Nintendo Switch and want the games. And games like Splatoon 2 and, and Mario Kart, while they have like an appeal that appeals to you know everyone, they're rated E, you know, kids are going to think it's cool, adults are going to think it's cool, a vast majority of the player base are teens to adults. And it's been that way forever. And... You know, I feel weird saying this, but using my own Nintendo bias for me, um, when I was running Zelda Informer, it was something crazy, like 98% of Zelda Informer's audience was over the age of 18. And that's a site that was getting over a million views per month, had you know almost a million likes on Facebook and 50,000 likes on Twitter, like over, you know, 
over vastly over 18. This channel, Nintendo Prime, while we're small time and we're not nearly at the level of, of what Zelda Informer as a site and as a social media presence is, you know, we have our 60,000 plus on Facebook. We have, you know, our we have some videos here that have done over 60,000 views. And we have, I think we have a billion view video about uh, <laughs> the, the My Body is Ready meme. But we, our vast majority of our audience is over the age of 18. And that's not necessarily because I'm catering my content to people who are over 18. That's just what happens because a lot of people that play Nintendo are either grew up with it or they enjoy the games as an adult. And I feel like this is something we need to start changing in the general gaming community's mindset is that just because games don't look hyper realistic doesn't mean that they're not, that they're kid games. And just because games are hyper-realistic doesn't mean that they're adult games. Because so many kids, I know more kids that play Call of Duty than play Splatoon 2. And I, I, that just blows my mind. When I worked at the elementary school last year, watching all these kids between the ages of 6 and 10, a whole bunch of them were always talking about Call of Duty, Call of Duty. You had one kid talk about Splatoon. But you had... All these kids talking about Call of Duty, how they just played, you know, we'd have circle time where we would share, you know, whatever we did the day before that was fun. And so many would be like, oh, I played some Call of Duty last night. I played some some The Witcher. I'm just like, what are you, why are you guys even playing these games? They're, they're not suitable for your age. But that's because adults play it, their parents bought it, and they want to play what their parents play. And a lot of these kids that play Call of Duty have parents that, that play Call of Duty themselves and play Destiny and all this stuff. And so that's what the kids want to play. And that kind of brings my point, you know, full circle here is that kids are playing whatever adults think are hip. The games themselves are not inherently designed to appeal to any specific age group. Um, Nintendo's games are designed to appeal to everyone, but the core mechanics in them are very adult-like. And I feel like the reputation with Nintendo games needs to go away. The Nintendo Switch is not a kid console. And I, I, I'm not saying it can't be, but it's really not. Kids are not very good with twin stick controls. They're not really that into motion controls these days. It, they're not necessarily into having like this big portable device that can't even fit in their pocket. Like that isn't. Th th it's not an appealing thing to kids. It's an appealing thing to adults who want to bring their serious games on the go. And I'm sorry, Splatoon 2 is not for kids. Mario Kart is not for kids. Uh, Breath of the Wild is obviously not for kids. Arms is not for kids. These games, while they have an appeal factor to children are heavily, heavily gameplay, mechanic-wise and skill-wise, catered towards an older audience. So, again, we need to start killing that reputation that art style equals age groups because that's incorrect and needs to be thrown out. And that's nothing against the Call of Duties and the Battlefields and Battlefronts and all that stuff of the world. I love those games too. But we need to just start shedding the reputation that just because it looks like a cartoon doesn't mean that it's for kids. I mean, come on. South Park, is that for kids? Just saying. Real world examples out there uh, that we need to understand what the core audience of the Switch is and what the core audience of these games are. And the core audience is adults. Don't let the general gamers get you down. Let's help spread that reputation around that, yes, I am an adult and I play Splatoon 2. And I'm not playing it because I'm a huge Nintendo fan. I'm playing it because I generally love the game. Um, so yeah, let, let's spread that love out there and, uh, I hope to catch you guys in the next video. I am Nathaniel Rufflejans from Nintendo Prime. If you like this video, you know what to do. If you dislike this video, hit that dislike button. I really hope you don't dislike it. <laughs> um, subscribe if you would like to see more videos like this. And as always, folks, I will catch you in the next one.